In this video, we're going to take a look at dividing polynomials using long division. Here, we're going to divide 6x cubed minus 8x squared plus 10x plus 103 by 2x plus 4. First, we need to set up our long division problem, putting the 2x plus 4 out front. Didn't quite leave enough space. There we go. And the 6x cubed minus 8x squared plus 10x plus 103 inside the division bar. When doing long division, we follow the same process and patterns we follow with long division of integers, just like we did in arithmetic. We divide only into the first number, or the first term, 6x cubed. As we do, we will also only use the 2x front term. If you can do this mentally, we can just put our answer up above, but if you can't, we'll write to the side 6x cubed over 2x. The 6 over 2 reduces to 3, and x cubed over x is simply x squared. Our quotient is 3x squared. We will now distribute the 3x squared onto both terms of the divisor. 3x squared times 2x is 6x cubed. 3x squared times 4 is positive 12x squared. Once we've done this step, the important next step that often is where errors occur is we need to change the sign on each of the terms to show we're subtracting. Change the 6x cubed to negative 6x cubed and the 12x squared to negative 12x squared. When we do this, the 6x cubed and negative 6x cubed will subtract out to 0. Negative 8x squared and negative 12x squared is negative 20x squared. Just as with standard long division, our next step is to move down the positive 10x and repeat the process. Again, we'll take the front terms and divide them. Negative 20x squared, divide it by the 2x, and when we reduce this, we get negative 10x. This is our quotient, negative 10x. We will then distribute this negative 10x onto the divisor as we multiply. Negative 10x times 2x is negative 20x squared. Negative 10x times 4 is negative 40x. Again, before we combine them, we are going to go through and change the signs. The negative 20x becomes positive, and the negative 40x becomes positive, so that when we combine them, the negative 20x and the positive 20x subtract out to 0. 40 plus 10 is 50x. We still have another term to bring down, so we can repeat the process, bringing down the positive 103. As we repeat, we're going to divide the 50x by the 2x. 50x divided by 2x is going to reduce to 25, and the x's divide out completely, so we just have positive 25. Once we have that positive 25, we want to distribute that 25 on each of the divisor's terms. 25 times 2x is 50x, and 25 times 4 is positive 100. Oops, and I did that in the wrong color. Should be green. Now, before we combine them together, we will want to go through and change the signs. Make the 50x negative and the 100 negative. The 50x's will subtract out, and we're just left with 3. As there's nothing else to bring down, we'll say we have a remainder of 3, and we have our final solution. 3x squared minus 10x plus 25 with a remainder of 3, using standard long division just like arithmetic.